Hello, this is David D. Hilser. I am a critical thinker, dissident scientist, and I'm here to tell you the truth about science, something university professors won't tell you, the mass media won't tell you, and certainly those science evangelists won't tell you. Well, thank you again for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, just look below and see the subscription button and subscribe, and you can hit a little bell next to it. You got to hit that little bell if you want to be notified via text or email that I have put up a new video because why? Because what I talk about, you're not going to see anywhere else. And this is really exciting stuff, like what I'm going to talk about today. And that is the Electric Universe, the Thunderbolts Project, a group of people who've been around quite a while now uh, who have declared that this universe is more electric than gravitational and they've been pursuing that for many many years in fact they have a YouTube channel and they are coming up to their 10th anniversary on the YouTube coming up in February and they are really really close maybe by the time you see that they're they've passed the hundred thousand subscriber level that is quite amazing they certainly make an impact they have great videos they have really great productions they have really nice conferences you can go to if you are so inclined to think that this universe in fact may be electric a lot of times they we abbreviate this electric universe as EU and one of the things of course that they subscribe to is that in fact the universe is way more electric than it is gravitational. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to read, read to you from their website. Uh, instead of putting that up there, I'm going to read from it here, uh, uh, right from my hand. It says, in the wake of recent discoveries, a new way of seeing the physical universe is emerging. The new vantage point emphasizes the role of electric electricity in space and shows the negligible contri contribution of gravity in cosmic events. Images returned by high-powered telescopes and recent science pro uh, space probes have challenged astronomers' long-standing assumptions about galaxies and their, con uh, and their constituent stars, about the evolution of the solar system, and about the nature of the history of, of Earth. The new discoveries also suggest that our early ancestors may have witnessed awe-inspiring electrical events in the heavens, the, sort, the source of myths and symbols around the world. So it's really pro broken up in, in two uh, parts. One, the scientific endeavor of looking at what electricity and the role that it, can, that it plays in the universe, and that maybe things like the uh, Grand Canyon were formed by a huge electrical event in the past. Uh, and they have lots of, they talk about lots of evidence for that. They also look at things in, uh, in astronomy up into space where there are explanations and they make some predictions. One interesting prediction they made uh, was that one of those uh, impacts that they were going to be sending onto a comet or a uh, uh, asteroid or whatever it was, one of those small small uh, bodies, is that when they hit it, there would be actually an electrical discharge. And guess what happened? That's exactly what happened. So they, they go all, all, all out, all out, writing papers, uh, even doing projects. There's a project that you can follow on their website. And, and they, were, they are trying to show again that maybe the real force in the universe is electricity and electric fields, not gravitational. And that's a wonderful point of view. Remember one thing I have said, and this one of the things that I want people to understand. You don't have to buy everything about anybody's theory or anybody's direction. But one of the things we have to do is respect them. I respect, immensely respect, the, uh, the Electric Universe group, Thunderbolts, the Thunderbolts Project. Why? Because they're critical thinkers. They don't accept what is, is told to them as truth. They look at it and say, well, give me the data, give me the pictures, give me what's happening, and I'll make, that, make my own decision. I'll even look at what your arguments are, and I may disagree with them. And if I do, I am going to maybe come up with my own explanation. And they do that. So am I a supporter of the Electric Universe? A hundred percent, a thousand percent. It's led by uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Wal Thornhill and uh, Dave Talbot. These guys are really great. Uh, uh, Mr. Thornhill, Wal Thornhill, he is a guy that is pretty much their guru, the guy who many people rally around as their, sort of, uh, I would say, top scientists of the Electric Universe. And, and David Talbot is a person more like, I think, myself. My name is David. Hey, all Davids are doing this, maybe. Uh -huh. But uh, and that is to really market and put out there because it's all really nice to talk about it, 
but it's a, another thing to get people to notice you and then actually stick. Their confidence has been growing by leaps and bounds, so obviously they're doing something right. There's something that's very attractive what they do, and David Talbert is very good at making this communication and the presentation of that in a much better form than we're, we're doing, but hopefully we're doing that also more and more in our group, the CMPS. So it's really important for us to remember that these people deserve our support whether you agree with it or not. Yes, Velikovsky and this idea that Venus came in, uh, I don't know, 30,000 years ago. Please don't quote me on any of this. That is some of their, what they uh, conjecture, and that's what they see evidence for from ancient peoples with their symbols and what they mean, and there was a big electrical events. This is an alternative. Oh, hitting my microphone. I'm, I knew I was going to do that. This, these are alternative views of the universe, alternative models, and they have the right, and we must support everybody who is doing good science and has good things to back it up, whether you agree with it or not. It's really, really important. In fact, we have people in our group who frequently go to the Electric Universe groups and uh, 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 conferences, and they subscribe, and they, cons they consider themselves to be Electric Universe people. But in our group, we have ether people, we have particle, uh, you know, we have all kinds of camps, and they all, they can all disagree on it, but, uh, disagree between themselves, but we must respect, and we should support alternate models of the universe, alternate theories of the universe. Why? Because that makes, makes a field healthy. It gives you many more options because some, maybe a crazy uh, direction is going to take us in a direction and point out something very important to uh, the overall flow of science. And, there, what, and one of the things Electric Universe is certainly doing is saying, hey, the electrical effect is a big effect. We have to really look at it very seriously, and that's what they do. So we must, must, as Robert Decenti, who I hope to interview, be interviewing soon, who I call a natural philosopher, says we should embrace polytheorism, not theism, theorism. It's hard to say, I know. Maybe we're going to talk with him, maybe about, we got to come up with a better word. It's easier to say. But the idea, what does it mean? You can have more than one theory for the same thing. Oh my goodness. So, why do I support the electrical universe? Oh, because I subscribe to everything it says. No. And that doesn't matter because everybody in the electric universe doesn't subscribe. Each human being doesn't subscribe to the same thing. There are no two human beings that subscribe to the exact same thing. No, no at all. Not at all. Why? Because we all have different experiences. And we have, my dad and I have a, a particle model. There are certain things that we disagree on. Uh, people in the electric universe are going to disagree with, but we are there and we're duking it out. We're getting up there. We're putting up our ideas. And like people who are good teachers, we do not poo-poo somebody's idea just because we don't agree with it. That attitude is absolutely huge and important. It's absolutely missing from science. We have brainwashed people to say there is only one theory, there's only one model of the universe, and it is correct until it's found different. And I will hold on to it until, like with pride from my dead, my cold dead hands until you give me something to replace it with which is also a stupid idea, which I'm going to talk about as well. We don't have to replace theories. Sometimes you do this, throw it out. Um, I'm going to catch that one because this is uh, too precious to me. I thank you, Dr. James Maslow. But again, really important. Take a look at the electric universe. If it's not your cup of tea, you don't, gotta, you don't have to follow them. If it's interesting to you, look around. Maybe you're a person that thinks the world is much more electrical, and that is the way you feel. I am more Newtonian. I'm more gravitational. But hey, are they right? I don't know. Am I right? No. Or I don't know. Is any of us, are any of us right? That's not the point. The point is for us to come up with models that are useful, that are predictive. They did. They predicted the flash on the comet or on the asteroid, whatever one it was. Flash. 
They predicted that. They predicted other things too. And they get it right a lot of times when mainstream gets it wrong. So hats off to you, Walt Thornhill, David Talbot, and all of you in Electric Universe. You guys are amazing. Continue to do what you're doing. Continue your great videos. Continue getting subscribers. You know why? For every subscriber they pick up on their YouTube channel, on their Thunderbolts project, they are helping what? Grow critical thinkers. Because if you believe that their universe is way more electric, you're going to be at odds with mainstream. And to be at odds with mainstream means you've got to have a constitution that's really strong and can put up with the people saying, oh, no, everybody, you know, we already have our model. It's not right. So plus you, plus you, Electric Universe. Keep up the great work. Take a look at them. I have a link below that you'll be able to see and go to their YouTube channel and I'll have another link for their website. And I hope you go there and you can learn some a lot of, of interesting stuff with great production. Hey, Dave, why don't you do it like that? It'd be nice. I mean, Dave Talbot has done a great job. I think it's a, lo a longer head start than I do. I had, but we're going to go for it as well. Thank you so much. And remember what I say. Don't take my word for it or anyone else's on faith. Not even the Electric Universe. Stay critical. Stay thinking. Take a look for yourself. I'm David D. Hilster, your science therapist. Ciao for now.